The thing that makes this stand out as a game is that it goes back to basics. I mean, I think that's, you know, so many times we're chasing after the bleeding edge that sometimes we forget the, that the uh, fundamentals, the foundation. Sometimes we just want to go back and play games that we used to play. And that was kind of the concept here. We approached Grey Goo with the idea that a lot of the fun in RTS had actually been lost over the last 20 years or so. Uh, I, I'm actually uh, from the old school days myself. I came from Westwood Studios, so I, I kind of miss that that time of uh, when you just get together with your friends and blow stuff up, right? RTS has evolved a lot. There have been so many experiments with RTS games out there, and a lot of really good experience, a lot of really fun experiments. But but we've kind of gotten away from that core of what made it great. So, you know, the bigger maps, or um, there's two different modes of gameplay. I mean, we've had a lot of experiments with our own RTS games. No base building, yeah, no, no base building, offensive. or extreme base building, right? Uh, and over the years, RTS has kind of gone the direction of the very numerically based eSports uh, Twitch game, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people love that kind of thing, but there wasn't any more of those old some of my old friends used to call it beer and pretzel games, you know? And um, so that was originally what we tried to do with Grey Goo, is just get a, an RTS that was not Twitch-based, not, not numbers-based, but just fun to play. And I think the nice thing about Grey Goo is that we've kind of gotten back to the roots of what made RTS games great. You know, that um, we still have all of the, uh, the core uh, units that make up the lineup of a faction, and it gives you that good RPS experience, that rock, paper, scissors. And I think that that simple to play yet hard, difficult to master kind of mechanic is what makes it fun, in my opinion. You know, we see it making a comeback, especially focusing in on what made the, the core genre great. In fact, we're looking at uh, capturing an entirely new audience that hasn't, hasn't really been exposed to RTS games uh, recently. You know, one of the things that we wanted to do is open up our doors to a community of players who we knew wanted a traditional RTS game, but it's what's not in the game that actually makes it fun, and we just didn't pile everything into it. There's not a lot of numbers you have to worry about. There's, we don't have um, a lot of uh, extraneous unit abilities and things. It's basically get in there, build some stuff, and blow some stuff up. Yeah, and a lot of the feedback that we've been getting is that how easy it is to jump into the game and how fun it is to play. But a lot of the players are, wow, I can actually jump in and play this game and come up with my own strategies and have a lot of fun doing so. Another huge thing is that our factions are very much asymmetrical. Um, not only in how they look and feel, but how they build. So, whereas with one game, you know, which is much more base building, everything has to connect for the humans, everything is uh, really important as far as the infrastructure goes. You know, for somebody at the opposite end of the spectrum with the goo, you're really able to just run around and start resourcing and moving things around. And so making sure that that was all balanced and that felt right um, was definitely really tricky, but we put a good amount of time in. And, you know, we know that like any RTS, when you throw a swath of people on it, there's going to be all sorts of things that kind of come out of it. We also took the micromanagement out of uh, managing your economy, so you can focus more on what should my strategy be without focusing so much on, oh my gosh, what are my units doing right now? And so I think that kind of takes us back to the basics. So with all that, I think the culmination of all that is just lots of replayability. You know, that you, you buy your RTS game and you want to get a lot of play out of it, and you want to get a lot of hours of game time, whether, like I said, or whether it's multiplayer, yep. skirmishes, or whatever, you know, or, or replaying the story in a different mm -hmm. setting, you know, and so I think that just makes the core for a really great RTS. So, you know, it's, 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 uh, we're excited to have the opportunity, really, to, to jump in there and show people what made this genre so great.